It is Thursday night, and you know what that means. Welcome to the Start of Fab Podcast. I'm Mark. I'm Juno. Hey, buddy. <laughs> and the last thing I had was some Cinderella news. Well, let's get into it. Cinderella is, I don't know, pretty much my favorite tournament of the year. Um, so this year, I'll just, I'll just read off what the president said of stardom unlike last year where 36 people participated the most ever uh 24 members this year down 12 people so we have koguma hanan saida momokogo and yuzuki from stars it's pretty much Momo, all... that that's a that's a comeback koguma mm-hmm, that too so pretty much all of stars is considered like rookies, not rookies, you know, uh, up and comers, <laughs> except for Mayu. And is Mayu not in it? Um, Lady C, Miyu Amasaki from Queen's Quest, Starlight Kid, Raka, and Natsugo Toro from Oedotai, Rana Yagami and Saki Kashima from God's Eye. So no Shuri, no Mirai, no uh, oh, because maybe they're, oh, they're later. Hanako, Yuna, Kurara. This is what got me annoyed. In addition, we have Hazuki, Azumi, Sierra, last year's five-star champion, Suzu. Uh, oh, and then uh, Waka, Mai Sakurai, Ami Sarai, and Mirai. So, these, so this last list here, they get they all get a first round buy. It actually really annoys me for some of them. So first of all, the Cinderella winner getting a buy that seems fair, right? Uh, like if you no, have, I mean, it, it, it's it's a new have, season though. That's like putting last year's World Series champion right into the playoffs this year. It's like they already got their prize. She challenged for the white belt. Right, Suzu but if you're, and winning a five star already got her prize. She right, got but to if lose you're gonna in a get main a, event. But if you're gonna get a buy, whatever. It's like Mariah. If anyone's going to, that's the one that can make sense. I agree with that. And I'll buy Suzu. And I'll you know what? I'll actually no, yeah, that's not even the same tournament. But Waka, Sakurai, and Ami Saroy, they were all in the in the final four. Yeah, which I honestly I don't like it either. I'd rather would have just had them do an extra round. Which honestly, looking at Sakurai, Ami, Saroy, and Waka, I'm like, I would have rather them all win besides over Murai. But you know what? Like they were the final four in the Cinderella, and then Suzu was still five. Working hard, huh? This is great. Well, Suzu was the five star champion. You could say, all right, well, Maze is a champion, high speed champion. Why would Hazuki or Azumi get a buy? They just got picked. Well, for... Hazuki's pretty cool. All right, well, that makes sense. Yeah, Azuki's pretty cool. She gets a buy. That, that tracks. <laughs> Why does Azumi get a buy? So I don't think uh, the white and red belt champions can participate. No, in the grand scheme of things. So last year, if you remember the finals, the final show before the tournament even ended, they booked like a red belt match or something. And like, sure, or whoever was in it was in it. But which means they couldn't also fight in the finals of the Cinderella. So you knew they had to be eliminated. So maybe people that are going to be fighting for other championship matches or have something else to do on that night, maybe they're just not in the tournament. Plus this tournament's always been a mid to higher mid card tournament, right? Like even when you put the Mayus, the Julias in that man, they all, they automatically like get double eliminated. Um, well, yeah, that's what happens. You have an over the top rope rule. (laughs) <laughs> I love this tournament so much. What do you, who do you think the, uh, like the highest or the most top card person is in that? Probably Tora, huh? Um, oh, that's interesting. Well, Magical Ami. I was just looking at the winners here. We have Mirai <laughs> twice, Saya Kamatani, Julia. Arisa. And that's before Saya time, time, Saya's and Julia. Yeah, I mean, think about it. That's all like, on their way up. So, you know, this not having any of the top, top tier, no Tommies or anything like that. It almost just makes sense. 
Because this is where you build the next white belt champion, really. I think it's all top people. I think this is the first year where it's not top people. Well, but... Saya, Saya wins this before she becomes the white belt champion. It's, it's where they build everybody. Saya was already. Good. Or it's the last step in the building block. You know, it's the it's the icing on top. All right. Well, of these, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go through, and then whenever I see someone who's better, all right. So I got Hanan. All right, she's my top pick. Starlight Kid. And then I, I probably have a top five. I probably have a top four. All right, final four. And Hanan's in there. Hanan, final four. Hanan. Lady C, Miu, Starlight Kid. There we go. Hanan, Mirai, Ami. And just because of the push he's been... Well, there's one of the two ways. Just because of the push he's been getting, Yuzuki, or just because she loses in big uh, spots, Hazuki. Mariah's getting dumped. To make it to a semifinal. Mariah's got a first round bye. She's getting dumped in the second round. That's going to be an upset. I don't know. I, I... I am all in on Hanan. And then a couple of weeks ago, someone or you brought up like, ooh, Ami. Ami versus Mariah in the finals, even better. So it's like, well, Ami I, 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 Hanan. I want Hanan. <gasps> that writes itself. They've been Hanan. building this story forever. Well, to be fair, Hanan has, is hated by the whole locker room. So like Starlight Kid versus Hanan, Ami versus Hanan, May versus Hanan. Nobody <laughs> likes her. My Sakurai versus Hanan. <laughs> So basically, her dad versus anybody, huh? <laughs> like you said. Yeah, the biggest baby face in the company like gets into fights with everybody. Uh, Andrew, we'll see what we do with our brackets. Usually, we find a way for Walker or Lady C to win, and then we make a real bracket. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so last year, Sakurai was in second place. She says, I was the closest to winning the Cinderella. Wow. Uh, and I'm frustrated. This year, I'll make a comeback. Second place is is it not good enough? It's meaningless unless you win. So that's her ladyship would have been good in the dress. I forget about that. You never forget the losers. You always remember the winner, right? <laughs> Nobody remembers who uh, lost the Super Bowl. Wow. <laughs> unless unless you, you're a Bills fan. Unless unless she loses three more. Cinderella's unless, in a yeah, row. Unless, unless, you live, unless, unless you live in Buffalo. That you remember. <laughs> Ami had a couple things to say. I just... So... Let's just agree Suzu can't win this, right? Suzu wouldn't even make it out of the first round if she didn't have a bye. It's a multi-day um day sh- show again, too, isn't it? They're not doing it in one night? Um, Yeah. Yeah, I actually sort of like that. Although I do like the one night thing too, but I also like. I do like they the... do the semifinals. I do have the old the original King of the Ring style where you just fight it all through and have it be one big event. Mm-hmm. The Cinderella, it three three times they've challenged for the World of Stardom Championship and it's never been successful. Wow. Which kind of makes sense. I mean, if you're going, if if you're in this tournament, it's kind of like winning the Royal Rumble. It's like does because you won a tournament it doesn't mean you're you're very good. You could just been very hot. And if you're challenging like yeah. the best wrestler in the world, probably gonna lose. It goes back to the five star stat too. You brought up well, the five star is like, like you're you're wrestling everybody even, more likely to just be good. Yeah, but the. Uh, winning the championship after that is even a lower percentage. I think you, you said once like basically the whole sure you Tommy Julia run, like broke the mold three times in a row was pretty much unheard of. I definitely think that's true. Yep. So, Oh, so someone challenged for the goddesses of stardom title and then lost. Well, you know, after the Cinderella, who did that? I'm going to assume, let's see. EO Shirai. And Yoshiko. She was hitting that goes for the goddesses. That's funny. And they lost to Mayu and Kyrie. Jesus. So I'm going to assume that EO lost them the match. Yeah, probably. Yeah, and I'm going to check this out. The uh, white belt, someone's won the five star and challenged it once and lost, which was 
Oh, Tommy challenged Momo and lost. Oh, wow. And then, so that's like 0 for 1, 0 for 1. And then for the World of Stardom title, it's 4 for 10. <laughs> so you have like, you have a better chance. There's You have a better like batting average in the MLB than you do winning the five star and then winning the title. It's crazy, isn't it? Because now reverse it, like we we like to comp- we compare stuff to the to the biggest shows in the world. Now compare it to the Royal Rumble. How many? The, uh, oh my god! Seems, how many times does the Royal Rumble winner win the championship? Probably ninety percent, or does it just feel that way? <laughs> Unless you're, uh, it's Cody. Well, before like Utami, Shuri, and Julia, it was one in mm-hmm. seven. It was one in seven. Yeah, it only happened once. Yeah, the only reason I and, like and, know that well, stat well, is because you were trying to convince me maybe Julia won't win. You were trying well, to save my save my life a year ago. <laughs> and it was going to be 0 and 8 because it was that match that Tony Storm beat Mayu after she won the five stars cuz Mayu like broke her elbow after like 2 minutes into the match. Oh. So really Utami was the first person to ever really win the five star. Is what I'm getting at here. <laughs> and if I uh know my statistics right i believe cody rhodes is also a two-time cinderella champion <laughs> i looked it up the schedule it is a five it's a five night event the cinderella are they doing five rounds <laughs> are they doing a match at night <laughs> seems sort of weird or there was maybe they're doing one side one side one side one side something like that Ami says that her first match in stardom was the Cinderella first round, which Shiri forced her to do. She lost ah. him. Then she lost to Mirai. So that's interesting. Now we get into my final two picks right here. One, just look at Starlight Kid. She's been wearing white for like three months now. She had all the gear made probably for when she assumed she was beating Sayori. She was going to be the new white belt champ. But you know what? All that white gear looks pretty good when you're competing for the Cinderella. She's already beat Hanan once to be the number one contendership for the white belt. She had a amazing match against Sayori, which she almost won for that white belt title. I could see uh, if, if this is if 2024 is the year of Starlight Kid. I mean, talk about someone who never wins the big match ever since she, like, lost to her forever foes forever ago. Like, she, I could, I could, she, I, talk about the, talk about a new face of the company. I mean, she does everything good. She is a marketing genius if you do nothing but share her TikTok. Like, put, put her over. She's selling out little starlight kitties. Like they're uh, going out of business, going out of style. You're going to get yourself one, aren't you? I'm going to get me a kitty. <laughs> one way or the other. All right. Mariah Hanan. But she says that she's. Starlight winning. Kid. Ami. Starlight Kid said That's she's my winning. final four. She said she's winning the Cinderella. And I believe her. If. Oh, shit. There's something else from Ami. And it wasn't related to the Cinderella, but it was equally as uh, interesting to me. Starlight is That's... stunning with a mask on. Could you imagine if she ever takes the mask off? She's Dude, what... probably gorgeous. Yeah, what if she's ugly? That'd be funny. <laughs> I doubt it. <laughs> I do too, but that would be funny. <laughs> I think they did like a fan How meetup. The... Oh. And this was interesting because she's like, good morning. This is Ami. Good morning. It's a cold and rainy day. Uh, I can't wait to see you all. I dyed my hair and bought new clothes for today. And this part was interesting to me. Please be careful coming to the venue. I'll be waiting for you. That seems like a threat. Is that a, is that a threat? <laughs> That's what I was thinking. <laughs> or it's a dangerous trip. Once you get here, I'll make it worth your while. High five. I don't know. I think it's a threat. Please be careful coming <laughs> to the venue. I'll be waiting. <laughs> That's good. That's how I took that. Finally, the probable Cinderella winner, if Mariah doesn't go on her reign of terror, she says Cinderella oh, tournament 2024. 
I'm probably the closest person to Cinderella right now. <laughs> and Anne put herself over as being Cinderella. <laughs> I mean, is she wrong? No. <laughs> <laughs> she She's said, got, did you, you should go, I don't know if you have Start a World up. It's almost worth putting it up just to see, like, you know, they all have, like, new splash art for the, I just, I just noticed it. I was looking at the card for the next uh, show. And you know how they all have sort of their splash art or their pictures for their <laughs> matches? She's got a new one where she's just holding her arms out, like, love me, <laughs> with a big-ass smile. It's, like, hilarious. And she's in the middle of a three-way, so it's just, like, there's girl, girl, and then just a nan. <laughs> <laughs> that is a good point, though, from Andrew Richardson, how can you be the face of the company if you don't have a face? Even easier, because now you can sell the face of a company. If you're the face of the company as a mask, now you're selling the mask. Now can, everyone can be the face of the company. You could carry the face of the company with you. Can anyone, represent. But then anyone could be the face of the company. You can slap that mask on anyone. An arcade sighting, a Twilight Dream sighting. <laughs> <laughs> Hanan says, I'm Hanan, the woman closest to Cinderella. I have the most momentum, the highest expectations. My goal this year is to win the white belt. So I want to continue to climb and become Cinderella. Cinderella. <laughs> That is cool. That's my number one pick. It was my number one pick last year, too, though. <laughs> Every year? Just pick an end? You can't lose? No, I don't know. Last year was the first year I actually thought it could happen. True. No. It could be that I could. I do sense that you're a Starlight kid. That could happen. I could see Starlight. I could see Starlight dumping herself out to take Kanan with her, bring her down to her level. Out of spite. Ami and Hanan doing it in the finals. <laughs> Ami and Hanan hitting at the same time. Oh my god, it'd be a Batista John Cena. <laughs> <sighs> well, good, because there's one more thing about Hanan. This is fascinating. So they visited the mayor and the governor of whatever prefecture this is. The sisters. I wonder if that's Tomichi. their hometown. That'd be cool. Well, well, the thing when I when I read it on their news site made me think of something. Um, Why they're going to the mayor's office in full gear and not dressed in business casual? They are in business casual. <laughs> that is their business. <laughs> yeah, like cause... they got to walk in out of their mother's car like that, right? Like they're not changing in the bathroom. They're like walking into the mayor's office like that. If it was, it is business casual because if it was business formal, they'd be wearing the robes. Fair, fair. But it the way this reads was this was the second time Hanan, Hina, and Rina paid a courtesy visit to the Shimotsuki city mayor. So first of all, it makes it read like they keep an eye on the mayor. Not the, like it's a courtesy visit to the mayor. Like they got to keep up on what he's doing. I also thought of, is it possible that that's just a part of like, I don't know the bylaws or something. Like they just have to meet with the, these three sisters every so often. They're the most famous people that come out of Sakamura. Sure. Oh, no, Sakamura is the mayor, wherever it is, wherever they were. I just like to think of it like they called a meeting with the governor. Or no, the other way around. The governor called them up. They're just there in full wrestling gear. Until Hanan wins the Cinderella, and then she's never taken that dress off. She's going to look like, oh, my God, that would be a good gimmick. Someone's got to win the Cinderella and then lose and then never take the dress off. Just be like, be like Chelsea Green. Just be like the hot mess. I was thinking the same thing. Just have a dirty brown like wedding dress. Just like I'm the Cinderella. Ah, oh, Mina could have pulled that off. She would have made it like, sexy. like crazy. Mina. She would have made, <laughs> but she would have made it good. She, would, I want it to be bad. She would have had like a somehow this nasty like dusty brown like dress that she wrestles in. Like and it would have been good looking. 
I'm okay. Yeah, I'm not ready for Hanan to lose her smile yet. And Mirai was already the ashy Cinderella, so. That's all I got. All right. Well, I, I think that's a great night. We went on for 100 minutes, which means One. we'll, we'll, we'll be able to get a couple, two to three shows out of this, and they'll, they'll be great. Thanks, yes. everyone, for showing up. Pineapple Quacks. Real quick, while we got a few people in chat, might as well hang out for a minute. Who do you guys like for the Cinderella? Juno, you know who? So who is he after that? Who is your top pick? Um. All right. Well, Mariah, Mariah's got to vote for a three-peat. I like that. Cole. Actually, you know what? That's the end. Stardom Fan Podcast is possible because of you. Uh, thank you all for your support, and you can follow everything we do at stardomfan.com. I'd like to thank our patrons, Twilight Dream for being Stardom Fan fans, and Jake Ebert for being the world of Stardom Fan champion. Thanks, guys. こんばんは。ユーキャンビーザトップかわいいオブザコスモス。クリックアワコーヒーリンクビロー。バイポイ。Thank you for your support. Follow everything we do at stardomfan.com. I'd like to thank our patrons, Chicken and the Twilight Dream for being Stardom Fan fans, and Jake Ebert for being the world of Stardom Fan champion.